everyone, I'm here. Wait, that doesn't sound right. There we go. If you've ever wanted to sound like a robot, chipmunk, or something completely unhinged while playing VR, you're in the right place. Today I'm showing you exactly how to get voice mod working with your VR headset, whether you're using Quest standalone, connecting your Quest to a PC, or running a dedicated PC VR headset, I've got you covered. And stick around because I'm giving away voice mod keys and lifetime licenses at the end. VoiceMod is a real-time voice changer that processes your voice on the fly. The app gives you access to over 150 voice effects, everything from subtle pitch shifts to completely absurd character voices. They also have soundboards where you can trigger meme sounds, audio clips, or custom sound effects. The free version gives you a rotating selection of voices, while the pro version unlocks the full library plus Voice Lab, which lets you create your own custom effects. In games like VR Chat or Dungeons of Eternity, where your avatar's mouth animates when you speak, watching your character's lips sync to robot voices or dog barks is genuinely hilarious. Hello, my name is Adam Bombani. Hello. There's something about seeing a perfectly animated mouth matching dog barking sounds that never gets old. I'm a dog! <laughs> I'm trying to be a human, I'm trying to talk human, but I'm a dog! Come here, other fellow dog! I'm a dog, speaking dog! We're dogs! We're dogs! We're dogs! Use this responsibly in multiplayer games. While voice mod itself isn't banned in most VR games, how you use it can absolutely get you in trouble. Games like Gorilla Tag, Rec Room, and VR Chat have broad content policies that let developers ban disruptive behavior, and their voice moderation has gotten more aggressive. Blasting music, spamming offensive effects, or harassing other players will get you banned, not because of voice mod, but because you're being disruptive. For this reason, I recommend saving the most wild effects for private lobbies with friends or for recording purposes privately only. It's not worth getting banned from a game that you paid for or dedicated time to just because you wanted to commit to the bit. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's start with the more complicated setup, using voice mod on Quest without a PC. I won't sugarcoat this, you're gonna have several wires and your phone needs to stay in your pocket the whole time. But if you don't have a gaming PC or if you want voice mod while playing standalone Quest games, this is your only option. Before you start, make sure you have all four of these items. The voice mod key, this is the hardware device that makes everything work. It's $40 and I'll include a link to it in the video description. The voice mod mobile app, which is available on iOS and Android. A USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. You'll need to buy this separately for Quest compatibility. And finally, a wired gaming headset with microphone. Wireless won't work and it must have a built-in microphone. First, connect the voice mod key to your phone. Android users can connect directly via USB-C, but iPhone users will need a lightning adapter. Once connected, open the voice mod mobile app and give it a few seconds to recognize the device. The app becomes your controller for switching between voice effects. Then link the voice mod key to your Quest. Turn on your Quest headset and grab the 3.5 millimeter audio cable included with the voice mod key. Plug one end into the controller input jack on the voice mod key. Now take your USB-C to 3.5 millimeter adapter and connect the other end of the voice mod cable to it, then plug that adapter into your Quest headset. This routes the processed audio from the voice mod key into your Quest as an external microphone source. Connect your wired headset to the headset output jack on the voice mod key. Make sure it's fully inserted. A loose connection may give you crackling audio or cut out completely. Your headset's microphone picks up your voice, sends it through the voice mod key to your phone for processing, then the altered voice goes out to your Quest. Finally, in your Quest, navigate to Settings, Experimental. You'll see an option for external microphone and make sure it's enabled. If you want to preview what the voice sounds like on you, tap the Hear Myself button next to the current voice selection. Your phone's media volume needs to be turned up for the voice effects to come through clearly. The phone's doing all the audio processing, so low volume equals weak voice effects. Also check that your headset's microphone level isn't muted or set too low. You will need to keep your phone in a pocket with the voice mod app running the entire time you're playing. And yes, you're gonna look slightly ridiculous with all these cables, but that's the price of sounding like a space marine in contractors. If you're using a PC VR headset, whether that's a native PC device like the Valve Index or your Quest connected by AirLink or Link Cable, the setup is so much simpler and cheaper. No extra hardware needed besides the VoiceMod desktop app on Windows. Open the VoiceMod app on your PC and in the audio settings, select your VR's microphone as the input device and also select your headset as the output device. The second step varies depending on where you want to use VoiceMod. For in-game chat, make sure that your default Windows microphone is set to VoiceMod Virtual Audio Device. And if there's an option to check your microphone source in the in-game settings, make sure to check there as well. 
for recording in OBS or similar, just change your audio input source to voice mod virtual audio device instead of your normal microphone. If you want to preview what the voice sounds like, just click the hear myself button. All right, here's what you've been waiting for. I'm giving away a few things in case you want to try this for yourself. Two complete voice mod key bundles, which includes the voice mod key, the adapter that you'll need for request, as well as a lifetime pro license, as well as two voice mod lifetime pro licenses. To enter, find the Gleam link in the description and follow the entry options. To be completely transparent, the entries involve following and engaging with my VR Content Lab social accounts. And yes, this is your first look at something that I've been building. VR Content Lab is my upcoming course for aspiring VR content creators and influencers who wanna actually grow their channels and build an audience in this space. I'm talking strategy, execution, what works, what doesn't, and the stuff that nobody else is teaching you. This is just a soft announcement. I'll have way more details in upcoming videos. If they're not out already, they will be very shortly. But if you're serious about turning your VR content into something real, you'll want to keep your eyes on VR Content Lab. The giveaway will run until November 19th, and I'll announce the winners on socials. Use your newfound voice changing powers wisely. You got questions about the setup? Drop them in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. As always, keep on creating and never lose the drive to improve. I'll see you in the next one.